from all things that I'm seeing, from all reports and data that I can see, the month of March was huge in regards to myself and my, my gameplay and my coverage of everything here on YouTube. You guys really liked it. You really enjoyed the month of March. Whether it was watching the live streams daily, whether it was uh, watching the on-demand videos, whether it was the increase in vlogging or the edited content, no matter what it was, everything pretty much did really well in the month of March. So much so that this, by far, March was the best month so far of 2016. And if this pattern continues, if I can retain the level of performance that I had in March, okay, and keep that going during these months building up slower throughout the year... And I can maintain that, and then once the end of the year hits, there's a huge increase in stuff like ad revenue and everything on YouTube. I think things may work out financially this year for me, and I may be able to continue to do this full-time, because, you know, this year is kind of the uncertain year. Trying to see by the end of 2016, is this viable to keep doing this full-time as a business with all the changes and everything that have happened in the past year? So, right now, this month was great, and I want to say thank you to all of you. Because you guys right now who are here to see Persona 3, you're probably my core audience, you know what I mean? You're probably the people who come out to watch everything. Or you're the ones who come to watch the stuff that maybe isn't the super popular AAA release. And you are the reason why I'm still here. Quite honestly, you are. You're the core reason. And I really appreciate that. And especially a month like March where there was so much uncertainty. At first, March looked like it was going to be a slower month. Because it looked like there was nothing to do in the second half of the month. <clears throat> it ended up being quite the opposite with so much going on that was kind of surprises, right? that it was almost hard to keep up with everything. And basically, views are way up. And, you know, revenue is way up. Everything's way up this month. Compared to last month in particular. So, two thumbs up. Thank you very much. That's great news. And I'm hoping, please, can we maintain this? You know what I mean? If we can maintain this over these next few months, when, by the way, there's all these new releases, so that helps, right? If we can maintain this until the fall when the hardcore gaming season hits, I think we're going to be good. Good to go. Uh, I'm in... I'm in some, let's not say, not negotiations per se, but uh, there's a possibility that there will be some new stuff in regards to uh, sponsorship coming up. Now, I don't know how it's going to work. It's a brand new program, apparently, that's just launching in regards to people who live stream daily and, and sponsorship of the stream. I don't know how it works. I have no details on anything yet. All I was told is that there's basically some initial talks about potential sponsorship for people who stream, and I was contacted about it, okay? Um, it could turn into nothing, but... <clears throat> you know, I'm basically trying to find other avenues and other ways to make some, some revenue so that I can keep doing this as a job. And obviously, sponsorship is one of them. Because the bottom line is, this is the truth, everyone. The truth of the matter is my live streaming is fan service for you guys. Uh, I make almost nothing on live streaming. If you've noticed, when you watch my live streams, there's like almost no advertisements whatsoever over the video. Like maybe when you start up the stream or you refresh the stream and ad might play, but that's it, right? Uh, so I basically make almost no profit on this. It's basically purely fan service and... Uh, you know, I, I do it because live streaming is really kind of a cool way to interact and to have a different kind of connection with the viewer and to experience content. And, and you know, I don't follow the formula of most other people who live stream. I'm not constantly saying, oh, subs, and, and here's my PayPal link, and here's this and that, and send me money. You know, when I'm here, once I start gameplay, I'm here for the gameplay. <clears throat> that's what I'm all about because that's what I'm doing. I'm playing the games to have fun and experience the game, not as a fundraising technique. All right? So that's kind of the deal. Um... But maybe that'll maybe I'll actually be able to get some kind of profitability off of, uh, you know, live streaming in the future. I don't know. We're gonna find out. I'll have more details for you. All right. Unfortunately, I think we pretty much have zero chance of hitting the goal for the month. Now, I don't want to be a defeatist, and I certainly don't want to be negative or a pessimist. But I'm being real here. So, all the past week, it looked like we had hit the goal for the month, which was going to be, if we hit it, a Blizzard Marathon at the end of April, where patrons would vote on if you wanted to see me play World of Warcraft, or Hearthstone, or Heroes of the Storm, okay? Well, unfortunately, what happened was a few people did pledge this week, but a lot of people, I think it was like five, six people, who had big pledges last month decreased their pledges last minute, which I knew was going to happen. It always happens. And <clears throat> what ended up happening was that it shows, it showed, excuse me, that... We were above the funding level, and then all of a sudden, boo, dropped by like 100 bucks. And right now, like I said, unless we get a ton of people who run in and start pledging last minute with less than 12 hours left, it looks like, unfortunately, this is going to be the first month ever since I started with Patreon over a year that we're not going to hit the goal. All right? So this tells me a few things, and I want to kind of very briefly go over them. Number one, it obviously tells me that I'm not doing a good job with the goals on Patreon, because the bottom line is if it was a goal that people wanted to see, people would have pledged, right? Um, and I agree. I think that, you know, I'm really having a hard time coming up 
with goals for Patreon at this point because I've done a lot already. I've done marathons. I'm doing Patreon's Choice already. Uh, you know, I'm doing things that I've done in the past that were successful, but you run out of ideas after a while. And I, I wish I could do something completely original and different, but I have no idea what that could be or how it could be within my means. You know what I mean? When you actually look at people who do Patreon and are very successful with it, the things that they set up for goals, 95% of the time, they're things that I'm already doing. Things that I've been doing since day one on YouTube. There are people who say, oh, if we hit a goal level this month, we'll do a Q&A show, and you can submit your questions and we'll answer them. I already do that. I already have asked the king, you know? Or they're like, oh, well, you know, if we hit this goal level, we'll do this kind of gameplay stream. It's like, but I do gameplay streams all the time. It's not like it's a, it's a thing that's outside of the realm of what I usually do. You know what I mean? And it's funny because, quite honestly... Because I started on YouTube when I did, I, I basically, my methodology and my business strategy is to give you a ton of content all the time. And I think that's not what's successful on YouTube today. Today what's successful is we give you a snippet or a half an hour video every day, right? And you get hooked on it and you subscribe, and then it gets super popular, and then we can give you little tidbits of extras via Patreon later. But that's not what I've been. My business model is always, I give you everything. I give you Q&A shows, reviews, trying out products, playing games, streaming games, edited content, vlog. I do it all already. You know? So I'm kind of the jack of all trades. I've already been giving you all this stuff. So, <clears throat> it's absolutely impossible for me to do it. To do to do better goals. I need your support. I need to get more interaction from you because if I didn't appeal to you with a goal that I set up for this month, that means that I failed and I need to listen to you, what you want. Alright? So, ladies and gentlemen, what I need from you is feedback. Please, on the kingofhate.com forums, or you can write me an email, darksidefill at hotmail.com. Please submit to me your ideas for Patreon goals. What kind of a goal would you like to see on Patreon? What do you think would motivate people to pledge to Patreon? Because at this point, you know, the marathons and Patreon's choice, what else can I do? I kind of shrug because I'm already, I'm already booked, you know? I'm booked, my time is booked tomorrow, we're doing a marathon. Tomorrow, by the way, is going to be the Conquerors Bad Fur Day HD Conclusion Marathon stream. But I need to know. I need feedback. That's the problem is I'm a one-man show. I don't have anyone working for me. I don't have anyone out there doing market feedback. I just have to listen on my own and try to figure stuff out. And it's very tough when I don't have any, any help. You know what I mean? So I need your input on what would make Patreon more successful. What do you want to see as goals and stuff? You know what I mean? It looks like, uh, you know, we're not going to hit the goal. Unless, like I said, there could be a miracle. There could be a miracle today where a bunch of people come in and say, Oh crap, the Blizzard Marathon's not going to happen. Uh, I didn't realize. Last minute, let's pledge. And a bunch of people pledge. But I realistically don't see that much. You know, I think we're... we're a hundred dollars away or something like that. I don't see that happening. Um, and it is what it is. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. It's reality. But that's why I want your feedback. That's why I want more, uh, kind of feedback and interaction from you. I'd like to hear more from you on what you want to see. Alright, so please, either on the forums, post it up on the forums, or shoot me an email. Because I know some people, they like to, oh, they're going to type in the stream chat or whatever. <clears throat> Sorry, you know, that's not going to help. I'm not going to be able to, uh, to check that out. Or like Twitter, too. People try to freaking do stuff on Twitter. And I don't always catch them all. Um, obviously, I don't need to tell you about Patreon. I just explained the whole situation. But if you would like to pledge, patreon.com forward slash darksidefill. You can still pledge. If you pledge within the next 11 and a half hours, it will still count for March. Despite the fact that if we don't hit the monthly goal, you're still going to get your personal perks. Which are things such as premium forum access, getting a custom title on the forums, text or verbal thank yous in my videos, getting your questions answered on Ask the King, or even getting a private Q&A video made. So please consider pledging, patreon.com forward slash darksidefill. Uh, you could use the Amazon Associate link in the description of all of my streams and videos when you shop on Amazon.com. All you gotta do is click it, and go ahead and shop normally. Social media. My namely Twitter, at they call me DSP. That's where I am on social media. Please check it out, and follow me there for daily updates. Every day I post up a schedule of what's gonna be coming the next day, because things change all the time. I also share a lot of different thoughts about stuff going on with myself in my life in pop culture. <clears throat> I share pictures on Instagram. I also, uh, talk about things that I'm watching, like movies and television and stuff, so... Check it out, and if you are following me there on Twitter, and you like the tweets that I put out, please favorite and retweet them. Check out my girlfriend's business, The Black Current. That is, uh, her handmade glycerin soap and wax tart melt business. 